Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, for those of you who are new to uh, this channel or this video, um, this is uh, basically uh, uh, uncut, unedited, um, raw footage, uh, first person view of um, how to or review or setup of this air compressor. And so, uh, just to give you a heads up, it's very long and, um, you know, may take uh, a few episodes for the series to be completed. Uh, if you get bored or you, you're getting a little tired of watching, feel free to skip through um, or just go to the last um, episode of the series and you'll get a full review of uh, what, what I basically did. And... Uh, uh, that way you can get to the point, but uh, uh, at the same time you might be missing out on something that I won't be covering towards the end. Uh, for those of you who know my style, uh, welcome back. So here we have a box, and in that box is the 21 gallon air compressor. Um, now this is the one that requires oil, clearly states oil oil required oil required okay so and there's some other specs for it and uh, just walk around it a little bit so you guys can take a look at it and uh, this is my lovely hand truck and that's what I how I got it here um, we'll just kind of Take a take a quick look at it here. There we go. So we're gonna put the hand truck away here. Yeah. All right, there we go. And uh, you know we'll take a look at some other. Take a look at the box here. And, uh, wanted to, the reason I moved the hand truck out of the way was to kind of show you this part. You know, this is kind of one of the reasons why you know I purchased one of these is uh, mainly for um, you know, of course, we're going to inflate stuff with it. We can do that uh, perfect for inflating light wood work like your braid nailer, and then some heavy nailing, which um, I got a nailer, a uh, little heavy duty nailer, not a little but pretty big, um, do another episode series on on that, um, and then spray painting, which uh, if you've seen my spray painting episode, uh, that's one of the things, and then automotive repair, now I, I will be doing that, but uh, this is a little concern for me, but I think I have a solution for this, uh, the metal working getting die grinder and a hammer. You, you've seen what I, I've done on some of those. Um, but, uh, and, and you probably hear the motor running very, uh, running very frequently when it comes to using these, uh, the die grinder, especially the one with the, uh, you know, the, the air pneumatic die grinders and pneumatic tools. Um, eventually I'm, I'm gonna get two of these. And I'll do another video series on that when I get the second air compressor. But uh, I plan on getting two of these and then combining the flow of air, uh, hopefully giving me a good, um, you know, for example, this is 21 gallons. Well, I'm hoping by having two of these, I'll get 42 gallons. And then uh, apparently the uh, CFM uh, will also... Um, accumulate as well so effectively I'm getting a um, about a 9.4 at 90 psi and 11.6 uh, at 40 psi so the uh, thing is I'm gonna have two of these so it's gonna be kinda loud but uh, that's why you know that's why I wear these uh, whenever I I know I'm going to be working with some uh, the 
the tools and uh, never hurts to have a face shield which I, I recommend face shields like uh, of course you know when you weld you gotta have your helmet but uh, nice face shield like this um, you can see this one's getting a uh, it's getting dust but it's not only is it dust but it's scratched uh, did some sandblasting so uh, use this as my face shield during the sandblast I have two uh, this is my first one. Uh, I use this mainly. I'm gonna have to use this mainly as a sandblasting face shield uh, because it's all all scratched as as you know uh, when you do sandblasting out in the open. Um, uh, but uh, I have another one that is uh, brand new. Basically, uh, if I get the uh, the reason why I get a brand new one is by the time you got shipping cost and and you you purchase another shield, the face shield part on this, um, you basically almost paid for another another one of these, the whole kit and caboodle. So you might as well just go ahead and buy one. Um, no point in ordering just the face shield. Uh, so that's my opinion. Um, you may, I don't know, you may save a couple of dollars on on just a face shield, but you know, you might as well, for that couple of dollars, you might as well just go ahead and get the whole thing again. So, okay. Uh, anyways, enough about that, you know. Uh, of course, uh, uh, that'll be another whole, another video series here. But this this is going to be uh, basically new. Uh, this is not focusing. New out, out of the box. Very good. New out of the box. All right. And I'm going to set it up. And uh, it's kind of late at night, so I'm not going to be able to fully set up in one video so uh, that's why it's going to be a episode series here but uh, I think I will be able to at least get it going put the oil in I'm not going to run it because it is uh, a little late here but uh, you know in the morning when I go to bed and wake up I'll come out here and, and get it running here in the required time to uh, break it in and then we'll, we'll put uh, an air hose on it and we'll we'll just blow some air. We'll test it out. Um, so, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, you know where you're going. You're going back into the holster. You're seeing. Uh, hopefully, you're seeing all this again. If I'm moving my hands around, I could see the edges of the screen. I can't see the screen altogether. I'm just getting an idea of where um where where my viewing space is. So for you guys to see. So if you see me just move around for no reason, uh, there is a reason. I want you guys to see all this. So here we go. these straps there's one right here as well there you go done open now. Okay. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that new out of the box. Whew. Good old Manuel. Uh, I think this time uh, Manuel is going to be very informative here. Um, because uh, you know, of course, you, you can read the manual, manual online. You know, see what he's all about. So uh, he's, there's no tools in here. Okay. So that's that's that. Okay. So manual's here. 
put them over here for now. And uh, let, me, let me get some uh, pointing devices for you guys. And get more pointing devices. Just in case. All right. So let's see what we got here. Um, so you guys can take a look here. I'll zoom you, bring you out. And then, uh, okay, this is what we got here. We got some wheels. We got two wheels. Um, looks like we got some plastic with tape on it. Uh, and that is our, and I'm just kind of curious to see what, what it is for your guys, for, for you guys to, to know. And I'll just go ahead and just cut it. So I'm kind of curious to know what it is. Okay. Okay, this is the air filter. So, so you got the air filter. And there's something else here. And then uh, this looks like the hardware for the, the wheels. Okay, excellent. So we got the air filter and then the hardware for the wheels. And um, of course my table saw would be here, but uh, I moved it and Typically, I'd make my tables on my table until I, until I finish this uh, episode series of the garage shelf stand, whatever it's called. Um, eventually, I'm getting that done. I'll put a link onto what I've what I've done so far, which obviously you can see I've just cleaned up. That's all I did. But we'll just put this on the ground, and you know I got my knee pads. Uh, good old knee pads, they always come in handy because if you're working off the ground because you don't have a table, uh, I recommend you getting some knee pads. Okay, so now uh, you'll see this uh, this stuff, 21 gallon, I think it's a good bargain. It's it's big enough, it's powerful enough, uh, capacity is good enough. And like I said, uh, you know, if I think I get two and combine them, um, I think it's a uh, pretty better bargain than than the, uh, uh, the I think the 29 gallon or, or something like that. I'm not sure, but uh, anyways, get the uh, well. It's up to you, I guess. All right, so let's see how the what else comes out here. Okay, this comes out. Okay, this comes out. So you got the wheels, and these are. This, this is the handle, okay, this is the handle, and then you have the, um, what looks like to be here, the hardware for the handle, I believe it's the hardware for the handle, yeah, of course it's taped, it's taped together, so we're just going to make a slight cut, just enough to loosen it. Free him up. Free Willy. That's right. Free Willy. If uh, you all know what I'm talking about, then that gives you an idea how old you are. If you don't, that gives you an idea how long you haven't been in this world. There we go. So, there's the, uh, the hardware. Hopefully you're seeing all this. And so we'll just put that right there for now. And we'll put uh, the handle down over here as well. That's what I like about this carpet is uh, instead of working off the concrete and banging your tools and stuff, um, put this carpet down with the padding on underneath it. And uh, you know, you got some, uh, some room to, uh, to work with here. You got a nice cushion to walk on. So, if you ever find somebody throwing away their carpet, uh, pick it up. Use it in your garage. It comes in real handy. So, I think that's that's it. I just got to figure out how to, how to take the wheels out. And maybe, maybe I'll take one of these and... Hmm. Oh, looks like they're going back in. There you go. And uh, I think I'll use a flathead. Maybe a small flathead. Work together. 
screwdriver and screw Phillips working together. What am I doing? There we go. Sometimes, you know, I'm, t I'm a little too gentle. Uh, basically, what I did is I just took this out and I just, and it came out. And that, and that was just a wonderful idea. Styrofoam. Okay, so we've got the, we've got the wheels. So, excuse me. So we got the wheels out here. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. So we're gonna start seeing the compressor, and uh, I'm gonna try to do it in a, in a very clean, clean way. Looks like it's okay. Looks like this box is ready to go. Um, let's get all this bottom pieces of things. Get these, get these out of the way. So I'm just trying to get this, get this stuff out of the way. That's what I'm trying. To... That's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to get these out of the way. And uh, let's see, uh, how can I do this in a very nice way? Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and just, uh, oh, this thing is kind of heavy, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Uh, see if I could just lift it out. Oh. Looks like that's already came off. Okay. And uh, this will start coming off. Okay. There we go. I'll try to do it in a way that, uh, you know, doesn't destroy the whole thing. Hopefully not. So, let's see. I'm just going to. back on over. Let's see if I can tilt it back up without uh, having this thing fall on me now. Sure. Okay. All right. All right, there it goes. And uh, hopefully I should be able to lift this thing right up. Wow, you look at that. It actually freaking worked. It's amazing. And you know, I, I think I might be able to use this cardboard box, spray paint or change my oil or whatever. Whatever I can do with it. Basically, if I can use it for something, I will. No point in just Turn this thing apart and then, or oh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Big freaking box. Look at this. The box is bigger than the unit. Of course it would be. Okay, so now I got the box kind of. I got this out. And uh, let's see here. I guess I could take these out now. Sometimes it's just easier to pull them out. Of course, I'm being a little gentle here because uh, I want you guys to to see everything. So. Just cut. Oh, I could just do this. There we go. I could just do that. Should have done that. Should have done that, but that's all right. 
And this I can also use for changing my oil or if I'm out there in the concrete on my driveway, I need to lay on it, whatever. Just throwing some ideas out there. Okay. Good. 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 Very good. Alright, so. Yeah, it's almost like uh, I'm dressing somebody. You know, I feel a little perverted. Comes with some handy dandy instructions here. So, it's always good to look at this instructions here. So, this startup guide here, stickered onto the side here. Uh, connect air line, coupler, close, drain valve at the bottom. Uh, making sure the oil. And before you buy this, you probably want to get some oil because oil is not included in this. Um, plug in your cord, turn on the switch. If compressor does not start, there's a reset button, apparently. Okay. And just inspect it, make sure everything's there. Uh, So I'm just going to start uh, debagging this now, I guess. I don't know any other way to say this. Debag. Okay. Alright. The power cord with... Okay, it looks like they do give you some oil. They give you just enough... Uh, I believe that they give you just enough oil to uh, put in and drain to clean out... Um, to clean out all the, uh, the probably the metal shavings and all the other gunk that's uh, in the uh, in here and I don't know if you can see that but uh, you probably can you know that is a uh, matter of fact uh, let's, uh, let's take you out the holster so I can move you around just a little bit better so you can see this. There we go, I can see it now too. Um, you can probably see a little bit of oil in there too. So, I don't know if you can, just a little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil. You know, um, there's probably. Let me see, just a little bit of oil right, right there. You kind of barely see it. So there's slightly little bit of oil in there. And they give you enough oil to basically put in and then drain out whatever, whatever's in there. And um, you'll probably see some metal shavings in there. Uh, so it's important to do that and then fill it with oil and then break it in. Um, well, um, drain out. So this is this isn't to operate it by any means because there's not enough really here. Uh, it's just there for you to put in, um, and then you probably want to, like I said, drain it. So so anyways, uh, let's see. I might I might just end up cutting this thing, but we'll see. So this is where the handle goes. There's some nice instruction on how to how to set up your system, but uh, anyways, here here's the handle goes when it goes in here. And let's see if I have my handy dandy. I do have my handy dandy flashlight. It's just that it's not here. It's somewhere else. Let me see where it is. It's right here. Since the tank is you know black, it's kind of hard to hard to see. So, I'm going to illuminate it a little bit. There we go. 
So there you go. There's a right here. There's a handle right there, or a place a slot to put the handle, and right here as well. And I'm using this wonderful, amazing flashlight here. Uh, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna give my props to uh, the the company who uh, basically I get this flashlight from. There you go. And if you know about this, uh, you know. Um, my plan is to get a million of these. Uh, maybe one day I will. Um, okay, so, anyways, there it is. You're welcome, Harbor Freight. Uh, okay, and here's the other. Here's the other one. So, I'm just taking it slow. Feel free to, if you, if you think you know all this already, feel free to go ahead and skip on through. Like I said, this is a long series. Uh, we're already up to 26 minutes here, so, but this is for all the people who, you know, maybe first time ever doing this, they want to know every detail. Um, I'm sure there's lots of other videos that do this, but uh, um, you notice that they've already set it up and they just tell you what they did. Uh, I could do that, but... Uh, this is basically you're seeing how I'm seeing it, uh, and that's kind of kind of my style here. So you, if if there's something wrong here, you'll see it. Uh, if I screw up, you'll see it. And chances are, um, you may or may not do the same thing, but at least you'll be able to to do that, to to watch this, and then instead of pulling your hair out, um, you'll you'll when you do this, you'll do it much faster, and you'll do it with a lot more confidence. And that's the point. Is that you'll you'll be able to uh, uh, this will help you in uh, making not making the mistakes that I may or may not make. So let's pull this off. Let's just protect it. Yeah. What I like about this is uh, I guess uh, and I'm not sure if the rubber feet are al already on or not, but at least it's a little bit more. I guess stable base until you put the wheels on to work with. So there you go. I could probably put the handles on next after this. So like I said, there's the handles. Handy dandy flashlight brought to you by and uh I got it for free. Alright, so that's why I'm giving them the props right here. Alright. That's why I'm giving them the props here. Uh, there's your free advertising. You're welcome. And thank you for the free flashlight. And uh, if you send me a million, I'll display this on every video that I got. But I, I doubt they're listening. Uh, they probably don't really care. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's put the handle on. I'm going to put you back in the holster. Sorry kids, gotta put you back. Alright. Alright. There we go. So uh, I think this is how I want it. Oh. You probably want the you probably want to get the screws out that, that goes into them. Yeah, there you go. Probably want to get these out and uh, they're, they're basically little hex screws. So you probably want to get your little hex wrenches out. Guess where you can get those hex wrenches? I don't, I don't know. Where can you get those hex wrenches? Oh, gee. I don't know. Where, where do you think you can get those hex wrenches? So, uh, let's just screw them in by hand just to hold them in place. Okay. Put at least one side in. Let's see if I find that hole. Okay, there you are. There's one. Uh, there's, I think there's one. There you go. So there's one. I'm 
I'm sure if you're not using gloves, you can do a better job finding that hole. But I got gloves on. I always put these gloves on, if you haven't noticed. And since I'm on this side, I might as well just go ahead and put two. It's already lined up. Okay, excellent. Let's go on the other side. It's a little bit darker here, so you may not be able to see it. But you're just going to have to trust me. By the way, I just want to let you all know that uh, I just finished up an episode series here uh, of me uh, basically cooking some bread in my outdoor uh, barbecue pit. And if you've seen it already, then uh, you know it's, it was raining like cats and dogs today. But uh, if you haven't, I'll put a link up on there if any of you are inclined to do those kind of things here. Uh, so here's a Here's a startup guide. A quick coupler, basically telling you the same thing. Okay. And then when you get this, uh, you know they they really don't want you to start this thing without the oil. So they the lever to to start the uh, the motor the motor here. Uh, it's covered by this tape and it actually says stop required oil required so so if you turn this on without oil I, I have to I think even look at this it even has a little sticker on the plug here if you can see that add oil in uh, looks like three different languages maybe uh, maybe four or five so um, what can I say? <laughs> and and oil. Buy buy oil while you're buying this. And be careful about this. In fact, where's my scissor? Um, I have a scissors here. Sometimes it's best to use a scissor. Here it is. In certain cases, anyway. There we go. We got scissors. And. Uh, too bad you didn't put your name. There's no company name or logo on this scissor. Oh well. That's just too bad for them. This is just a generic scissor. But if you all know about this scissors, you know I plan on getting a million of these scissors. Well, okay. Let's see if I can. I don't want to cut anything here. I definitely don't want to be cutting any wires on this. Let's see how well these scissors work. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. So, okay, there's oil in here. Seems like uh, only about yay high. So uh, that's not going to be enough to to fill this this oil. It's only about yay high, right about right about here, and that's not going to be enough to. Uh, to uh, fill this uh, compressor engine here. Not gonna be enough to fill this. I'll tell you that, okay? You, it's probably gonna be barely enough to fit, maybe fill halfway and then you gotta drain it. So that's what this is for, to drain all the, uh, you know, metal shavings. But let's put the, uh, I wonder if I finished up uh, putting in the uh, the hex screws for 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 the handle. I got off subject, but here's the uh, air filter, and uh, there's a big gaping hole right here. And if you're wondering what that why there's a hole there, that's because that's where the air filter goes. So that's the air filter. Here's the air filter, and then. Um, of course, this is the uh, the hole that the air filter goes to, 
and uh, as far as I know you, you just screw it in which is kind of weird because this is plastic and this thing gets really hot but uh, hmm. oh well see actually it has a little warning sign right here it says um, Okay. It actually says hot surface to reduce the risk of burns. Do not touch. But, you know, it's here. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it on hand tight as much as I can. Okay. All right. Oh. Just hand tight's good enough for me. Because you're gonna, if you're gonna have this, you might as well have an air filter on the outlet anyway to prevent any moisture going in through your lines. So that's what I recommend. Just like it says on this picture right here. See? Air filter, plug, air filter, plug. So. Something that also uh, collects the moisture as well. Or you can get an air filter and a moisture filter. Some people do that. And then, uh, yeah. so the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to cut. I don't think we need to cut it. I think just need to un un untie it. Here it is. Here it is. You know what's funny is I might this would be a really good opportunity to use that head swivel headlamp swivel lens thing but it doesn't really give off a good light so plus uh, I think I think I think it looks kind of stupid so but it would be good for that I get an extra hand free all right um, yeah, those two are are in of course I'm gonna have to tighten them a, a lot more uh, I don't have an hex wrench, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to get something else, which is uh, this thing and and uh, this thing here, so. Okay, so. See if this fits. This fits. All right. So now I got. I'm gonna tighten this handle so I can. I got something to hold on to. And just kind of hand tighten it. Yeah. Make sure you see that. Just hand tighten it until you can. So it fits really snug in there. And tighten this one. Mm. Do the bottom one first. And then, yep. Let's do the top one. All right. So sorry if this takes so long and so boring, but at least you get to see everything as it's being done. Um, the nice thing about this is you can just skip through through the you know through it. You can just skip and you'll see the different pictures and maybe you'll stop where you think is uh, necessary for you to to really look at. So okay, that's that. Um, let's see what else here. I got the air filter. Oh, the wheels. Some of them. Yeah, I gotta put the wheels on. Wheels should be real easy. But I'll probably need some tools for that. So, uh, I got all that down. Let me figure out. 
Let me just figure out how I'm gonna... I can just tilt it, I guess. Now they got the handle. Okay, I got the handle on, it's pretty good. Let's see if it... Let's see if it'll come out. If I just kick it out. I think I'll just probably break it. Break the styrofoam on this. Or I could just, you know, twist it a little bit until it, there it goes, it uh, comes out, unless there's something stuck under here, which could be the case. Nope, nope, popped it back in. Okay, let me see here. I guess I'll just put it on the side and again, you know, that's why I like having carpet in the garage uh, instead of working just right off the concrete, you can do this. Oh, there we go. You just put things on the side and voila. You're not going to ding or scratch anything. And the rubber feet are on, which is awesome. I, I want to check it. Yeah, the rubber feet are on. And then you can do, now you got the, so now you got, uh, now you got this here. Um, the bottom of this thing's been scratched. Uh, if you can see that, right there, and right there. Um, but it doesn't mean anything. It'll be on wheels. So uh, there's a certain way it goes. I believe the way the washer, the nut, and the bolt goes through. I guess I have to refer to the, to Manuel, but. Um, let me see if I can try to figure out, figure that out. But I, I think the wheels definitely go on the outside. So let's uh, let's take a look through at the package here. All right. Let's see all that here. Let me do one wheel. And we'll do the other wheel. Uh, okay. So we got, uh, yeah, the, there they are, one, two, and then this is the, uh, this is the wheel here, it's very sturdy, it's very solid, um, yeah, pretty solid, feels like a rubber, smells like rubber, which I think, uh, yeah, I believe they, this this part right here goes on the goes like this. Okay. And then I gotta figure out which side this one goes on to. Um, with the washer. So let's just quickly refer to Manuel. In this case Manuel is actually very helpful. He'll actually uh, give you some heads up on on this. Manuel, let's see if we can know what he tells us about the wheels. Okay, so there it is. There it is, excuse me. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that, okay, you're, you're seeing it right now. So, looks like uh, uh, okay, the nut goes on the inside and then the washer is on the outside okay so basically uh, what we're looking at is that the it's gonna go like this it's gonna go like this so the net would be 
here, the washer will be on the outside, just like that. So I guess all we're doing is just removing, um, removing this piece here and just slipping it through for the most part. Yeah, like that. That's, uh, that's, that's it, right there. It's, uh, it's done, completed. Okay. And it's just a matter of, uh, putting that on the other side. And just hand tighten it. Tighten that part here, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, tighten it up here. Could be tight enough for me to just uh, do it off of one side. Um, let's see. I bet you anything, it's metric. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Metric? No? Maybe? Probably. And, uh, what could it be? Uh, looks pretty big. Yep. It's going to be a 19. 19 or 16. Nope. Yeah, looks like a 19. So it looks like it's going to be a 19 metric. on this side. What's on the other side? Let's see here. It's 19 and then 19. Okay. Well, I don't have two 19s, but I do have uh, one of these. I do have one of these. I think this will be going on the outside. Let's see if I can get close. Okay. So now I'll keep that in place and uh, the other one. shouldn't go anywhere. I hope not. So let's do the uh, other side of this now. And I want to be careful because I don't want to, I want to ruin the gauges on this. So, uh, uh, I think I can stand it up with the one wheel, make it work. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I should be able to should be able to stand up here. All right, it did just stand up. So rubber wheel. Okay. Now that we know which way you're going to be going. Careful that this will come out. Apparently, apparently this that piece will come out. I guess you call it the bearings. Um, but, uh, so, anyways, let's see if we can just slightly tilt it. So, see, I'm slightly 
slightly tilting it, and then, and then, and then, voila. Excellent. Let's see, which way is this going to go? Let's have it going this way. Those are in really good. They should be in really good. Okay, they are. So excellent. We got the wheels on. So there you go. We got the wheels on. The wheels are on. And uh, rubber feet was already on. I don't see any damage to it. I'm leaning it down on this side anyway. Okay. Don't see any damage from that. So excellent. Next thing you want to see is the compressor being damaged because you put the stupid wheels on. You know. I mean. Okay. Good. I'm satisfied with that. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, let me see how much how much time I've put onto this thing. And yeah, it's almost time for me to cut out. So, anyways, uh, I'll go this far. I'll go ahead and put the oil in uh, at a later time. Um, so far, the wheels have been put on. Um, the filter, the filter has been put on, the wheels have been put on, right there, and there. So the only thing that's kind of left to do is, uh, flush this out with the oil. And now that I got the wheels on, I can kind of move it a little bit so you can see that. Well, you can see that anyway. The oil here is uh, going to be flushed out and basically um, if you see this right here, that's where the uh, hole is for the oil to come out. Just kind of unscrew that and the oil should come out right there. And then this is where we're going to be adding oil. It even says add oil in one, two, that's three different languages, maybe another language on the other. No, same, same language, but three different language. Um, and for goodness sake, when you're at the store, go ahead and uh, get, the, get the oil for the compressor. Don't use, uh, I don't think you can use motor oil or anything like that. Or this kind of stuff you put in your car. So that's that's what's going to be next. Uh, so stay tuned, um, and uh, we'll probably I'll probably get this done tomorrow. Um, so, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, subscribe, view my channel, click on some ads, and uh, tune in next time. Bye. I'm going to have to use this mainly as a sandblasting face shield uh, because it's all, all scratched as, as you know uh, when you do sandblasting out in the open. Um, uh, but uh, I have another one that is uh, brand new. Basically uh, if I get the, uh, the reason why I get a brand new one is by the time you got shipping cost and, and you, you purchase another shield, the face shield part on this, um, you basically almost paid for another another one of these, the whole kit and caboodle. So you might as well just go ahead and buy one. Um, no point in ordering just the face shield. Uh, so that's 
my opinion. Um, you may, I don't know, you may save a couple of dollars on on just a face shield, but you know, might as well for that couple of dollars, you might as well just go ahead and get the whole thing again. So, okay. Uh, anyways, enough about that. You know, uh, of course, uh, uh, that'd be another whole another video series here, but this this is going to be uh, basically new. Uh, this is not focusing. New out out of the box. Very good. New out of the box. All right. And I'm going to set it up. And uh, it's kind of late at night, so I'm not going to be able to fully set up in one video. So uh, that's why it's going to be a episode series here. But uh, I think I will be able to at least get it going, put the oil in. I'm not going to run it because it is uh, a little late here. But, uh, you know, in the morning when I go to bed and wake up, I'll come out here and, and get it running here in the required time to uh, break it in. And then we'll, we'll put, uh, that's what I, how I got it here. Um, we'll just kind of, you know, take a, take a quick look at it here. So we're going to put the hand truck away here. All right, there we go. And uh, you know, we'll take a look at some other. We'll take a look at the box here. And, uh, wanted to, the reason I moved the hand truck out of the way was to kind of show you this part. You know, this is kind of one of the reasons why you know I purchased one of these is uh, mainly for. Um, you know, of course, we're going to inflate stuff with it. We can do that uh, perfect for inflating light woodwork, like your braid nailer, and then some heavy nailing, which um, I got a nailer, a uh, little heavy-duty nailer, not a little, but pretty big. Um, do another episode series on, on that. Um, and then spray painting, which uh, if you've seen my spray painting episode, uh, that's one of the things. And then automotive repair. Now I, I will be doing that, but uh, this is a little concern for me, but I think I have a solution for this. Uh, the metal working, getting die grinder and a hammer. You, you've seen what I, I've done on some of those. Um, but, uh, and, and you probably hear the motor running very, uh, running very, f an air hose on it. And we'll we'll just blow some air. We'll test it out. Um, so, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, you know where you're going. You're going back into the holster. You're seeing. Uh, hopefully, you're seeing all this again. If I'm moving my hands around, I could see the edges of the screen. I can't see the screen altogether. I'm just getting an idea of where um where where my viewing space is. So for you guys to see. So if you see me just move around for no reason, uh, there is a reason. I want you guys to see all this. So here we go. straps okay. there's one right here as well there you go done open now. Frequently when it comes to using these uh, the die grinder, especially the one with the uh, you know the, the air pneumatic die grinders and pneumatic tools, 
Um, eventually I'm, I'm going to get two of these and I'll do another video series on that when I get the second air compressor but uh, I plan on getting two of these and then combining the flow of air uh, hopefully giving me a good um, you know for example this is 21 gallons well I'm hoping by having two of these I'll get 42 gallons and then uh, apparently the uh, CFM uh, will also um, accumulate as well so effectively I'm getting a um, about a 9.4 at 90 psi and uh, 11.6 at 40 psi. So the uh, thing is, I'm going to have two of these, so it's going to be kind of loud. But uh, that's why you know, that's why I wear these uh, whenever I I know I'm going to be working with some uh, the the tools, and uh, never hurts to have a uh, face shield which I, I recommend face shields like uh, of course you know when you weld you gotta have your helmet but uh, nice face shield like this um, you can see this one's getting a uh, it's getting dust but it's not only is it dust but it's scratched uh, did some sandblasting so uh, use this as my face shield during the sandblast I have two uh, this is my first one uh, I use this mainly Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, for those of you who are new to uh, this channel or this video, um, this is uh, basically uh, uh, uncut, unedited, um, raw footage, uh, first person view of um, how to or review or setup of this air compressor. And so, uh, just to give you a heads up, it's very long, and, um, you know, may take uh, a few episodes for the series to be completed. Uh, if you get bored, or you, you're getting a little tired of watching, feel free to skip through, um, or just go to the last um, episode of the series, and you'll get a full review of uh, what, what I basically did, and... Uh, uh, that way you can get to the point, but uh, uh, at the same time you might be missing out on something that I won't be covering towards the end. Uh, for those of you who know my style, uh, welcome back. So here we have a box, and in that box is the 21 gallon air compressor. Um, now this is the one that requires oil, clearly states oil oil required oil required okay so and there's some other specs for it and uh, just walk around it a little bit so you guys can take a look at it and uh, this is my lovely hand truck 